Hey guys, it's David here, and today I figured a good way for me to reconnect with y'all, especially you new subscribers who've come along, welcome, would be to do a new Ask David. And uh, for those of you who don't know what that is, it's just a basic kind of Q&A video. I ask you guys questions on Twitter, and uh, now I'm going to respond to as many of them as I can. So here we go. Connor Cope asked me, if you had to pick between Storm or Scarlet Witch, who would you pick and why? These are characters from X-Men, for y'all who do not know. I am gonna go with Storm, only because I remember being obsessed with playing as her in um, X-Men vs. Street Fighters in the arcade. That was the very first video game I ever played. It made me obsessed with fighting games, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I remember playing as Storm and just always doing her Typhoon move, or at least that's what it sounded like. She would just go, Typhoon! And it would trap the other player in a cyclone over and over again. It was the cheapest way to win, but it trapped them, and I slayed with her, so I'm going with Storm. Ruben Gomez on Twitter asked, if you could describe your personality with a song, what would it be? This is an old song. It's called Our Love Is Here To Stay. And uh, the version that I love is uh, the duet between Ella Fitzgerald and Louis Armstrong. It's a song that I heard when I was like five or six and it's just always stuck with me. I sang it with my dad at my bar mitzvah, which was quite embarrassing. <laughs> um, uh, but I just think that at the end of the day, like there are a lot of aspects to my personality, but what I'm most proud of is that my love stays, and I think that I'm incredibly loyal to those who I love, almost to a fault, because like, if I love someone, I'm gonna keep loving them, and I guess some would call that attached. Manuel Irivera, I hope I pronounced that sort of correctly, uh, asked, are you excited to play the new Pokemon games? Hashtag O-R-A-S. Are those the remakes of uh, Sapphire and Ruby? I think that that's what it is. Oh, by the way, I love you. Oh, I love you too. I can't play the new Pokemon games. I have no 3DS. I wasn't able to play the old new Pokemon games and I saw everybody playing them and I was so jealous, but I like have no equipment with which to play them. If I did, I would be bouncing off the walls excited to play it. Trust me, because I'm obsessed with the Pokemon games. I just... No monies. Jordan Helms on Twitter asked me, are you an MT musical theater major or just theater? I am an acting major, so I don't study singing or dancing intensively in my program. I'm studying more Shakespeare and Greeks and Shaw and that kind of old-timey classical theater stuff. But I'm definitely trying to take voice lessons and dance in addition to that training because eventually I would love to perform in more musicals. Burry Souders on Twitter asked me, who is someone you hope to collaborate with before you leave LA and someone you hope to collab with in London. While I'm here, I would love to collaborate with Tyler Oakley. He was one of the first YouTubers I ever saw. He was definitely my main inspiration in starting this channel. And now I'm lucky enough to be one of his friends. So I know he's a busy guy and hanging out with him is good enough. But if we could shoot a video, that would definitely be kind of a little dream come true. And for London, I've also got a YouTuber who I've watched since before I made videos at all. And that is Charlie McDonald. I have such an immense respect for him. I think that even meeting him and just chatting with him about YouTube would be interesting, so the idea of actually being able to collaborate on video with him would be absolutely wonderful. Becca Duach, Duach, Ditch, Duach, Ditch, Dutch asked me, <laughs> um, uh, what do you miss most about Minnesota? I would definitely go with my friends there. I really, really miss my company. For y'all who watch the dailies, you got to meet all of them, and they are the kindest, most supportive group of people, and I cannot wait to reunite with them in London. Joey Kangaroo on Twitter asked me, what are some dream roles for stage shows? Hashtag Ask David. Um, I, this will split. I don't, I've always been so bad at saying my dream roles. I'm gonna choose two, one in a play and one in a musical. Um, I already played Tom Wingfield in Glass Menagerie, but I would love to have another crack at that. I love Tennessee Williams. I love acting his words. It's great material for an actor. So that would be a good role to hit on again. And um, uh, then for a musical, Henry in Next to Normal, as cliche as it is. Is. Mainly just to be in that show, because let's be honest, if I had my pick of all the roles, I would definitely want to be a Diana or a Natalie, because the female roles slay. And then eventually, as I get older, I would love to play the dad in that show. Can I just, like, I would just want to be all of the roles in Next to Normal. Chang Justin on Twitter asked, Do you think daily vlogger couples that have sex at night do it before or after their closing shot of the day? Um, it's probably a mixed bag. I am assuming. I think maybe sometimes when it's a more planned event, 
it might be before the closing take, or uh, the birds are chiming in too. They're just looking for the bees. If it's more in the moment, if you will, then there might be a good night shot and then events that follow after in the midst of trying to go to bed. I don't... Just ask them. Wallace Silvis on Twitter asked me, what a guy must have slash do to get your attention? Question mark, exclamation point. Be nice. Honestly, like, I mean, obviously we all have our laundry list of meticulous things that we must have in a guy, but at the end of the day, if somebody's not nice, it's just not gonna happen. They can be catty, they can be sassy, like, that's how I am too. And it's fine if it's meant with good intent and it's just joking, but once someone actually says something or does something with the intent of hurting another person, uh, that's where I draw the line. Anyway, that's it for today, but thank you guys so much for sending all of your fantastic questions on Twitter. And if I didn't get to yours, I'm sorry. Hopefully I'll get to it next time. And if you like this and you want there to be a next time soon, <laughs> make sure you like this video and leave a comment letting me know. Other than that, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Shut up, birds. Bye. Jack Griffin Lewis on Twitter asked me, what tips and tricks do you have for a successful audition? A successful audition. Relax, walk in there like you're the solution to their problem. They want you to be the solution to their problem.